Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our variable cam control in our Haltech ESP software. So when we're trying to control a modern engine, such as a Honda K20 engine or a Subaru EJ25 engine, we're gonna have variable cam control that we have to deal with. These engines have been designed to work with this particular feature, so we wanna take advantage of it. It's going to allow us to vary the dynamic compression, increase the cylinder filling, so we're gonna be increasing the volumetric efficiency, we're gonna be reducing the pumping losses, all of this is going to allow us to have better fuel efficiency and more power. So it's gonna be something that we absolutely wanna implement. Now the Haltech is gonna be able to control this and we can control up to four variable cams. So we have our intake banks and then our exhaust banks on a V8 or even on a Subaru. We're gonna have four cams that have to rotate and be controlled at the same time. The Haltech is able to do this. So we're gonna be taking a look at the setup and configuration. So we're gonna be making sure that is correct. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the tuning side of things at the variable cam tables and some strategies to go in and tune them properly. So without further wait, let's jump in to check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our variable cam control in our Haltech ESP software. We're gonna be finding the variable cam controls really easy to work with and set up. We just need to know some very specific things. Now, if you're coming into this video and you don't know a lot about how to tune and work with variable cam control, jump into the EFI Advanced Library. I have a specific variable cam control video it's gonna walk you through understanding the concepts of going in and tuning a variable cam control table. It's gonna make a lot more sense what we're gonna be finding um, in this video when you're gonna go watch that first. So if you're uh, not familiar with variable cam control tuning, watch that, come back in the video. So the first thing we're gonna be doing here um, to set up and work with our variable cam controls, jump into setup, we're gonna be configuring the output and uh, we're gonna be seeing how this is gonna work. So jumping into our search results, if we simply type in here cam, we're going to be finding it filters out two results. We have cam control, cam control switched. And we can see here, cam control is going to be what we want. Um, if we check this, we're going to be seeing it's populated. Now the cam control switched, that's going to be related to a high-low function such as a VTEC on a Honda engine. So uh, this is not what we want to select. We want to make sure we're on cam control. So there's going to be a couple things that we need to know. Let's go up here to options and start there and work our way down. So the number of banks. So if you have a four or a six cylinder engine, so if you're on a Honda K series or you're on a 2JZ VVTi engine, we're gonna be selecting number of banks one. If we're on a, uh, an, an engine such as a Subaru or a Coyote motor, we're gonna be selecting a banks number of two. So we're gonna have uh, two potential banks to control our variable cam on. The mode, now in most cases you're gonna be on intake only, but we're able to also have intake and exhaust. Now most engines will just be intake only. This is gonna be the 2JZ VVTi or a Honda K-Series engine. They're very, very popular uh, engines in the aftermarket. We're gonna be finding that intake only is the option on those. Um, intake and exhaust, this is gonna be for something like a, uh, a 4B11 engine from um, a uh, Evo 10. Uh, we also find that um, the Ford EcoBoost has a dual intake and exhaust variable cam as well as the Coyote motors that are supported from the Haltech Elite. Exhaust only is gonna be a little bit of an oddball. Um, there are some engines that have exhaust only for variable cam, but typically we're gonna be 